Welcome to my YouTube channel. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Today, I'll be talking about MOSFET board. This is a printed MOSFET board. This is a printed MOSFET board. Now, I dismantled this board for better explanation. Now, from this board now, this is where the MOSFETs will be inserted. You can see. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. So this board is capable of taking five, five MOSFETs each from year, from year, from year, and from year. Now, from this board now, these are the filtering capacitor. This is 50 volts, 3,300 UF. But me at times, I used at five volts, 4,000 UF, depending on the one you can see in your area. But I always suggest that you use the one that has higher fire rate, like 4,700 UF, 3,300 UF. So, this is my most fed board here. This is my most fed board here. So, the two, this is the two low side, this is the two high side. These two low side will be connected to the transformer. This high side, this is the, this, the positive bar will be connected to here. And this is the negative part. This place, this, this is negative, this place will go to the negative part of the battery. This place will go to the positive bar of the battery. Now, this is its sink. Now, the heat sink is being placed here. So that the MOSFET can stay on it and there will be there will be a, a, a kind of a connection, like a, a kind of a parallel connection using this. So these are the two uh, the two other uh, it sink. So one is here, one is here. So the essence of this heat sink is to cool down the uh, the MOSFETs when it is coming out, and it's also for continuity. It's also for continuity. So the the one under here is the local mid one. This one is working perfect. Yeah, it's working perfect. These are my MOSFETs here. This this is the the two low sides. This two low side I've said earlier is going to the transformer. These are my capacitor here. Yeah, these are my capacitor here. Yeah, this is the long bar. The I side one and I side two is connected together. So this is it. These are the MOSFETs and this is the negative. So this this bar will be going to the battery, the positive terminal of the battery. This bar also will be going to negative part, the negative terminal of the battery, and this bar also will be going to the MOSFET board. So from here, this is the ground, and this is the positive. So we will be we will be we will be feeding our oscillator board power from here. Yes, this is the grand and this is the positive. So that is it. Yeah. This MOSFET board can resist within 650 VA to 1.5 kVA. That it can be used to, to construct 650 VA to 1.5 kVA inverter, as it is here. I'm only using two, two MOSFETs each. So this one now, uh, I'm using this one to construct 1.1 kVA inverter. Because when you are selecting your MOSFET, you need to know the numbers of MOSFETs you are going to use, the rating of each MOSFET. So with this one, I'm using IR4110. And IR4110 is having higher current. It's a higher current MOSFET. So I'm using that. This is a MOSFET board that has 5.5 MOSFET on it. This MOSFET board can be used for inverter from 1.5 kVA to 3.5 kVA. This MOSFET board can be used for inverter within 50 V from 650 V to 1.5 kVA. It all depends on the kind of MOSFET you want to use. I'll be teaching you how you can select your transformer for our inverter system. The inverter we we've been discussing so far is pure science inverter. So today I will be teaching you how, you, how to select your own transformer. So this is 1.1 kVA transformer. I got this transformer from a Mokotech inverter. So the configuration of this transformer is H bridge. So I'll be testing the continuity of this transformer using my meter. So you range your meter to continuity. So the meter is a continuity. Now when I read now, when I read these two anode now, it has to read. You can see. It means this transformer is working. This is the first part. You can see the transformer is working. This is 1.1 kVA transformer. 
gotten from Mikotech inverter. The, the exciting part of this inverter system is that any transformer will work with it. Once the transformer is an HB transformer, any HB transformer will work on this inverter. So I've tested my my transformer. This is an HB transformer. So it is two anode here and two anode here. So this two anode here now, it will give me within 5.5 volts to 6.5 volts when I plug this into the AC. When I plug this into an alternating current, what I will have here will be around 5.5 to 6.5 volts. So this is, this is it about this transformer. This transformer windings is aluminium. I always tell people to buy copper. In, uh, in recent technology in inverter system, I discovered that most inverter have been built, their transformer have been built with aluminium. So I will, I will indulge you to get copper, copper transformer. But in a situation where you cannot get the copper transformer, then aluminum transformer is also okay. So as I said earlier, this is 1.1 kVA transformer gotten from Mikotech inverter. So let me give you a series of inverters you can get transformers from. You can get transformer from Mikotech, you can get transformer from Sukam, you can get transformer from Afri Power, you can get transformer from Prague, you can get transformer from Luminous, you can get transformer from Blue Gates, you can get transformer from APC Inverter, you can get transformer from any kind of Lexus Inverter, any kind of pure science Inverter system that uses age bridge configuration. The transformer will work fine with this. Another exciting part of the DSP inverter is that you can use the board, the DSP inverter board, for any type of inverter. Once the inverter is HB transfer, is is H bridge, you can use any of it. So that's it about this transformer. Then I'll be talking about how to test your MOSFET board. So while testing your MOSFET board, we not range, we'll be ranging our meter to diode you can see so it is in diode so what, we, what to do next is this you place the MOSFET board this way make sure that where you are placing your MOSFET board there is nothing like conductor place it on a black a, a blank plane you can see it is reading you can see it is reading now the reading the, the, the difference of the reading must not be too much you can see one is one is 418-417 and the other one is 418. You can see the difference must not be too much. If the difference is too much, there's a problem in your MOSFET. And while reading your MOSFET, if you discover that you, you are reading one side and the other side is not reading, it means the MOSFET are having issue. As you are seeing now, you see our MOSFET board is working fine. Our MOSFET board is working fine. So this is these are ways in which you can test your MOSFET board before connecting it to your inverter. And I always tell my friends and my co ones that are into inverter design that when you want to design your MOSFET board, you need to coat well. You need to coat all this well. And you must do it in a such way that it will not be altering each other. As you can see, this one now, it is being coated well. All this, all this track now, you see, they are not crossing each other. The track has fully selected. And if you can see from here, you can see that it is well coated. So another thing is, you have to coat your MOSFET board well. If you don't coat your MOSFET board well, if via current is passing through, there is tendency that the track, the track will break. So instead of, instead of um, causing the track to break, the only thing you can do is to coat your MOSFET board well. So in this video, I'll be able to tell you how you can check your transformer if it is working fine, and how you can check your MOSFET board if it is working fine. And the next thing is, you have to be very conversant with this configuration of this key of this uh, MOSFET board port that is going to the that is going to the oscillator board. So as I said earlier, the ground, this is the ground, this, this is the ground, this is the positive, this is the low, low sync I1, and this is low sync I2. So you have to be conversant with this so that when you put it into inside your MOSFET board, you don't be having issue. So as it is now, this is how you have to put it. This is my ready-made MOSFET board. My, this is my ready-made oscillator board, sorry. This is the ready-made oscillator board. So now it has been there. So what I will just do is I will just insert it this way. So once I insert it this way, I will not be having any issue while trying to couple my inverter. So in this video now, I'll be able to explain to you 
how you can uh, select your uh, HB transformer, how you can how you can test your MOS, your MOSFET board, and how you can couple your MOSFET board with your oscillator board. And please make sure that the transformer you are getting is HB configuration. If the transformer is not HB configuration, it will not work fine. Make sure that the transformer you are using is HB configuration.